Hi everyone and welcome to this video playlist all about your sign. Each week I'll be revealing three more pairs of your spread, so that's seven weeks of content. Join me each week for the next part. Hi Gemini, thank you for joining me. Here are your next three pairs. So, what do we have? This is the house of Gemini, this is the house of Cancer, and this is the house of Leo. The Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Pentacles. So, in matters where you have choices and interactions with others, it's important that you look at the opportunities that you have got. Those choices are very much about your finances and so you're being asked to make sure that you perhaps put some money away for a rainy day, okay? And yes, you have got the opportunity here to spend money, but the advice from the cards is hold on to some of that because I feel that it'll make you feel so much better, okay? Knowing that you've got a safety net. I don't feel you've got to use it. There's nothing in the cards to suggest that that's what's going to happen. But it feels as if you need to have something here that you have put in your treasure chest. Something for a rainy day, okay? You know it makes sense. That could provide an opportunity for you going forwards. The Wheel of Fortune's there. Now, that's very lucky, okay? It's a lucky card. And what it's saying to you is, if you're able to kind of build up a little bit of finance, there is a sense and feeling here that that money is going to multiply, okay? And you're gonna have the opportunity then to make an investment in something where that money comes into really its own place for you to decide what you want to do with that. I would say that the battles that have been going on with money could make you feel, um, I don't want to do this. But I think that you should because your cards are actually saying there's going to be an opportunity where you'll wish that you really had this. And I think it's for some nice things going forwards. It gives you the chance to actually expand, okay? And invest and uh, look at strategies of being able to help yourself and help each other. So the Wheel of Fortune is actually telling you, look, if you hang on to some money, you're going to get a chance here to be able to maybe double or triple what it is you're trying to achieve. If you are actually feeling that you've got to um, sacrifice uh, some money at the moment in order to do this, I still feel that the guidance from the cards is telling you it's a good idea, okay? Because it will certainly be worth it in the long run and you'll certainly wish that you have this little pot of gold. It doesn't have to be a huge amount, you know, just a little something. I feel that the cards are guiding you to be very aware of how money is and to think of it as in of something that is replenishing and goes round in a wheel, okay? So, you know, money coming in, money going out, money coming back. Uh, moving into this position here, your cards are telling us that, you know, you've been frustrated recently you know, you've got all these things that you're trying to achieve here, magically, doing it beautifully, okay? And the Magician is Mercury, and that is your own card. You're being given the opportunity to save money here, and that will come into something that's really worthwhile in the future position. So, word of advice there, you know, if you've got money that is set to one side, it's really going to pay off. Okay, I feel that there's an opportunity here that you're really going to want that money for and it's far better, better than you could imagine. Okay, And the opportunity here is also what's going on at home. It feels like there's frustrations Okay, and I feel that you are kind of being um, pulled into um, a feeling of being uh, this yo-yo energy of oh I've got to do this and I've got to do this and all this stuff's kind of circling around here with the uh, Prince of Swords. Um, the Magician, it's affecting your communication. And your communication is, <laughs> this is the house of communication actually, but this card is telling us that 
how you're feeling and how you've been affected by everything that's going on. And this is particularly to do with the influences of um, what's going on in your community, um, in politics, in your neighbourhood, all this kind of thing. It's having an impact upon you. And that impact is actually making you feel very frustrated. And the Magician card is actually saying to you, you know, you've got to just turn around and look at it, that you keep going, okay? And the, the show must go on, all right? Despite the fact that, you know, things are twisting and turning. Keep going, keep going, that's the advice. When it comes to matters of home, I feel there are frustrations, but I feel that everything is in a solid place there. It's only in your mind that I feel that this is happening. It's probably not a reality, it's just uh, your thought process is probably a little bit scattered and it all feels a bit messy, but that is a temporary thing. And anything to do with home, you know, you will get moving. And I do feel there is the opportunity for those of you that are wanting a move in the future, that that's on the cards for you. It may be that this comes up more towards the mid part of the year okay and that is what your cards are actually telling you so um yeah you may be frustrated about that i'm sorry but the cards are advising you much better in that second half of the year that mid part as the mid part of the year comes in that's when things are going to start to feel as if any movement that you want to make with your home or moving house or properties or things like that that's when you're going to have the freedom to do it at its very, very best, okay? If there's things that's happening between now and then, I feel there's something better coming along that mid part of the year for you. And then we move into the Leo sort of aspect of your reading. So this is the inner child, this is the play, this is the sense of entertainment, your inner child, you know? And if you've got any children, I feel that, you know, this is also telling you lovely balance going on here. I do feel that there is a tendency to feel so much better when anything is connected to nature, particularly the outdoors, anything to do with animals, anything to do with um, just being in a really green environment will have a really wonderful effect upon you. It's a gift, okay? So out of anything that you could do for yourself, I feel getting yourself away from it all and surrounding yourself with nature and the things that belong in nature, the birds, the trees, the sheep, you know, whatever you see along your way, or even just a trip to the park and, you know, if there's a duck pond, go and feed the ducks. This is where you feel connected. This is where you feel that this is a gift to you. And this is where I feel that your sense of fun and your sense of play and your happy side all brings about the fact that you then get your va 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 boom that causes you to be able to develop a mixing and blending of harmony and healing within your physical, intellectual, emotional and spiritual self. So it also fixes any slights that you've got with other people. I would say that this is a massive healing that's going on here for you and you're being told to celebrate your inner child more frequently and that is just the simple pleasures, the things that you enjoy doing, anything with your hobbies. So if you like to run, if you like to walk, if you like to actually allow yourself to read or to watch films or to listen to music or to swim, whatever it is, make sure that you do that because then you're in perfect balance. Then the physical, intellectual, emotional, spiritual self will thank you. Okay, until next time, thank you so much for joining me. Please join me next time where I reveal the rest of your cards. Bye bye.